Hi, welcome to Prime Recap. In a world where each individual performs a single function, Jean, a defective emoji, seeks to be accepted despite his ability to reproduce all facial expressions. Today we will recap the story of the 2017 movie, The Emoji Movie. Alex is a high school kid and, like every teenager, his whole life revolves around his cell phone, with the arrival of the information age and the busy lifestyle increasing more and more. The need has arisen for pictures that express emotions without users having to type entire words. This is precisely what emojis are for. Some say that they are the most important invention in the history of communication, since they came to meet this demand. All emojis live in a large city called Textopolis, and each emoji must perform its function correctly, according to the purpose for which it was created. The crying man, for example, always has to cry, even if he wins the lottery. Laughing face always has to smile, even if he is dying of pain. And meh, he always has to look like he doesn't care about anything, no matter what. But for Gene, this function is not as easy as it seems. Unlike all the other emojis, Gene can change his facial expression depending on his emotions. However, this versatility does not sit well with the residents of Textopolis. The young emoji even tries to keep an indifferent expression, but he can't help the happy faces, especially today, which will be his first day working on the cell phone. Unlike Gene, his parents are professionals at performing their job, which makes his life even more difficult. When the boy arrives at the company for his first day of work, Mel informs him that he won't be able to work on the cell phone, because he's not ready yet. Gene tries to convince his father to give him a chance, for this is the greatest dream of any emoji's life. Mel is afraid that when he is sent, Gene will make the wrong face, but his wife, Mary, manages to convince him to give his son a chance. Later, Smile, the system's supervisor, receives the new emojis and introduces herself as the original happy face emoji. Each one there will have their own cube on the emoji bar, and when any one of them is chosen by Alex, the cube will light up. The scanner will then read the emoji and this image will be sent directly to Alex's text box. The most popular emojis, which are usually the most chosen, are left in the favorites section. As soon as Alex stops using his cell phone, they are dismissed to enjoy the party. High Five tries to regain his spot in the VIP area, but Alex has decided to trade him to Closed Fist, so he is no longer a favorite. While trying to get into the popular section, High Five meets Gene and asks for his help to bypass the security guard. However, Smile shows up and puts an end to the whole scheme. Minutes later, Alex picks up the cell phone again and, for the first time, Gene takes his place in the cube. During class, the boy is anxious to answer a message from Addie, the prettiest girl in the class. His friend advises him not to show too much interest in the conversation so he won't scare the girl. So Alex decides to send her a meh emoji. However, upon being scanned, Gene starts freaking out and makes several faces at once. As a result, Addie receives an emoji totally unlike any she has ever seen and decides to ignore the message. Desperate, Gene tries to escape and jumps into the scanner, causing a major disaster. The machine goes totally out of control and invades the cubes, destroying the emoji's workplace. Furious, Smile walks toward the defective emoji and says she will hold a meeting with the council to decide what they will do with it. Disappointed with his performance, Gene sits alone on the terrace while he thinks of a way to fix the damage he has caused. Minutes later, his parents come after him and ask the young man to accompany them back home. Mary says that one day everyone will forget what happened and Gene will have another chance. However, until then it is better that he is safely locked up in the apartment. Upon hearing this, Gene realizes that his parents are ashamed of him and decides to go and make things right. The young man intends to speak directly to the council members, but soon discovers that the decision about what to do with him has already been made. With a creepy smile on her face, Smile informs him that the boy will be handed over to the antivirus robots to be deleted. In an attempt to escape the impending elimination, Gene runs into the cube room, where he meets High Five. The emoji finally manages to bypass the guard and enter the favorites section. Upon seeing the antivirus robots, High Five believes he will be punished for sneaking into the VIP wing and runs away together with Gene. In order to hide from the guards, he goes through a secret entrance that leads to the Losers Club, where the emojis that no one uses are. While sanding High Five's nails, Gene reveals that those emojis were after him and wanted to delete him for being defective. In this instant, the little hand states that there is a way to be fixed, but in order to do so, Gene would need to find a hacker to reprogram it. The problem is that the hackers live only in the hacking app, and to find him, Gene will need to leave Textopolis. To reassure his new friend, High Five tells the story of the princess who got out of the cell phone and now lives in the cloud. According to him, the hacker who helped the princess escape can reprogram Gene. Therefore, the young man asks for the help of the little hand to find this hacker. 
Hoping to be reprogrammed to return to the favorites section, High Five accepts the invitation. But to do so, they need to get out of the city undetected by the robots. With the help of their disguises, the duo manages to go unnoticed. As they cross the border, they come across Alex's background screen, where all the applications are. Each app has its own world and the first to be visited is WeChat, a Chinese app where the bubble pups reside. Next, Jean breaks into Facebook and meets Alex's hundreds of virtual friends. Meanwhile, in Textopolis, Jean's parents are looking for him and intend to find him before the antivirus robots do. Mel believes that the boy has fled the city and the couple decides to go look for him in the background screen. However, one of the robots manages to detect them and Smile orders the antiviruses to follow them. Upon arriving at the pirate application disguised as a dictionary, High Five must enter a password to log in. Amidst the darkest creatures of the internet, they plan to find the hacker. The duo must escape a bizarre virus and get rid of spam until they reach the counter, where they find the Trojan horse. After being questioned about the whereabouts of the jailbreak hacker, the creature points to a girl sitting in the corner of the bar and High Five goes to chat with her. The young woman ignores them and claims to be busy, right up until the moment when the robots invade the place. Seeing Jean's abilities, she decides to help them find a way out while the antiviruses go about deleting customers from the bar. Just as Jean was about to be eliminated, Jailbreak pushes him into a tunnel and the trio manages to get out of there unharmed. They fall into the world of Candy Crush and Jean gets stuck in the game. To rescue him, his friends need to combine the candies without allowing the yellow bullets to get close to the emoji, otherwise he can be blown up. During the school break, Alex approaches Addie and intends to ask her to be his date to the fall dance. However, before the boy can make an invitation, his cell phone starts making strange noises, as the Candy Crush game has been activated, and the girl leaves with her friends. Furious that he is being sabotaged by his own smartphone, Alex decides to call technical support and makes an appointment to reset his device, erasing the entire universe inside. After being almost blown up several times during the game, Gene finally reaches the last row, but his spherical shape prevents him from getting out of there. His last option is to be combined with the yellow bullets and hope that the game thinks he is a special bullet. The plan works and Gene is transported into a glass jar, through which he manages to escape. As they walk through that world, High Five takes the opportunity to eat some candy and Jailbreak informs them that she is willing to help Jean, but for that they need to go to the cloud, where they will find the source code to reprogram him. The problem is, to get in there, they have to get through a nasty firewall that uses facial identification to make sure that each user has only one chance to get the password right. Jailbreak already tried to get past him, but she got the password wrong only once and was blocked forever. Since Jean is an emoji that can make several faces, he may be able to make several attempts without being banned. While keeping an eye on everything that happens on Alex's cell phone, the Textopolis security guards receive a notification that has just gone into the calendar, and everyone panics to discover that the boy has a scheduled visit to the service at 4 p.m. Lost in the background of the cell phone, Jean's parents log into all the apps looking for their runaway son. When they get to YouTube, Mel realizes that they are being followed by antivirus robots, and Mary has the bright idea of posting videos of cute kittens to distract the robots while they go away. After leaving the app, the couple split up to look for Jean and have no idea that, by this time, the young emoji is on his way to the firewall. Along the way, Jailbreak reveals that her biggest dream is to reach the cloud. The hacker can no longer stand living in that world full of rules and with the risk of being deleted at any moment. Her real intention in deciding to help Jean is to achieve her freedom. After crossing the shortcut, the trio arrive at a dance app and need to reach the dropbox without triggering the music. However, the jailbreak plans go up in smoke when High Five puts his finger on the red button and activates Just Dance. At that moment a loud music starts playing, attracting the antivirus bots to the application. The ground then crumbles and Akiko appears. She tells her guests that they need to follow her steps to advance. If they make a mistake, the player will receive an X, and with three X's, they will be eliminated from the game. Upon hearing this, Jailbreak despairs and reveals that she can't dance. In the very first seconds of the song, the hacker gets her first red, X, but she still struggles to keep up with the melody. Quickly, High Five earns three stars and begins to advance in the game. After almost falling off her platform, Jailbreak gets her second, X, and Jean decides to go back to help her. They begin to dance as a duo and move forward together. At this point, the girl gets carried away and ends up losing her disguise. Then Jean discovers that the hacker is actually the emoji princess who escaped from Textopolis and everyone believed she had made it to the cloud. At that instant, the antivirus robots appear and start dancing to advance in the game and reach their prisoners. Alex is in class when the Just Dance music starts playing on his cell phone. Desperate, 
The boy deletes the application and Akiko's world begins to crumble. Jean and Jailbreak make it to the Dropbox in time, but High Five ends up being sent to the dump after being captured by one of the robots. To prevent his friend from being deleted for good, Jean decides to go to the dump to rescue him, but Jailbreak tries to convince him to follow her goal, since Dropbox is right there and the dump is on the other side of the phone. Seeing that Jean is determined to rescue High Five, Jailbreak decides to lend a hand and informs him that she knows of a shortcut. In Textopolis, Smile is furious because she can't get in touch with her robots, which were sent to the dump along with Just Dance. There are only four hours left before Alex goes to the service center, so they need to fix everything before the technician finds some problem with the cell phone and decides to delete everything. As a last measure, Smile decides to send new robots after Jean, only this time they are equipped with an illegal upgrade that turns them into bloodthirsty monsters. In the dumpster, Akiko is still trying to dance when she is interrupted by an evil virus. On the mountain of garbage next to her is High Five. The emoji is approached by spam and a troll reveals that by the end of the day the dump will be emptied and they will all be gone forever. Jailbreak and Jean make it to Spotify and navigate the music streams to quickly get to the dump. During the trip, Jailbreak asks why Jean wants to be reprogrammed instead of just accepting his peculiarities. The girl says that Jean is the most special emoji she has ever met and claims to love him just the way he is. Meanwhile, High Five tries to distract himself while waiting for the moment to be deleted. He remembers the time when he was one of Alex's favorite emojis and sees his picture in a text message that the boy wrote to Addy, but which was never sent. Suddenly, the dumpster doors open and Jean appears hanging by a rope. The emoji holds up one of his friend's fingers and Jailbreak pulls them back up. After thanking his friends for saving them, the little hand decides to help the trolls who were stuck in the dumpster and throws the rope to them. However, the base that held the rope on the surface ends up falling in, and the monsters cannot escape. Mary is still looking everywhere for her son and logs onto Instagram to check if the young man is there. The emoji then finds hundreds of photos of Alex and enters the one the boy took with his parents in Paris. Sitting in a fountain, Mary laments what happened to Jean and blames herself for allowing him to go to work on the cell phone. Even though her husband didn't think the young man was ready yet. At this point, Mel appears and states that none of this is her fault. The emoji reveals that Jean pulled the same defect from his father and that is why the robots want to delete him. Mel also has other facial expressions, but over time he has managed to imprison them. Now that he has revealed the truth, the couple is closer than ever and Mel declares himself to his wife. Mary tries to show some reaction, but she can't help her frown. Despite this, the emoji says that she loves him too, and they go off, once again, in search of Jean. While walking back to the Dropbox, the trio is surprised by the arrival of the robot that has been upgraded and they need to spread out to confuse the creature. During their escape, each of them is still being chased by a part of the robot. In this way, the team manages to tie a knot in the monster and run for the Dropbox. The antivirus cannot get into that application, so they are safe. The trio embarks on a journey that will take them directly to the firewall. Now it is Jean's turn to enter the scene. The emoji positions himself in the password field and pronounces the numbers that Jailbreak passes to him. With each mistake, the young man is incinerated and must change facial expressions to make a new attempt. After a few unsuccessful attempts, Jailbreak runs out of options. She has already tried to use everything important in Alex's life, but she couldn't get the password right. So Jean says that if he had to come up with a password, he would use the name of the girl he likes. The problem was that Jailbreak had already searched the entire cell phone and could not find any girl's name. Upon hearing this, High Five remembers the text message he saw in the trash can, but cannot remember the name that was written in it. After accessing the files, Jailbreak finds the message and discovers the girl's name. Jean then makes one last attempt, and after saying Addy's name, access to the cloud is released. Now that she has managed to get into the cloud, Jailbreak needs to fulfill her end of the deal and starts working on reprogramming Jean to make him a meh once and for all. While the girl downloads the source code, Jean finds out that he doesn't want to go back to Textopolis without her and decides to declares. He says that Jailbreak is the coolest and most interesting emoji he has ever met. Jean further states that after everything that has happened, he has given up on changing his ways and would like to stay in the cloud with her forever. However, the hacker says that she has her own plans and claims that she is not a little princess waiting for a prince charming. Upon hearing this, Jean is heartbroken and, without any effort, becomes a real meh. As he walks toward the exit, the cloud doors open and Jean is taken away by an antivirus robot. Desperate, High Five runs to tell the hacker what has happened and asks for her help to save him. The girl then shrugs off her disguise and uses all her princess charm to attract a little bird with her whistling. Luckily, the Twitter icon is passing by and decides to give them a ride. 
Meanwhile in Textopolis, Jean is greeted by Smile, who intends to delete him right in front of all the other emojis. However, before the young man is eliminated, his parents show up and Mel reveals that he has the same flaw as their son. Contrary to his expectations, Smile orders the robots to delete him as well, and Mary is arrested by the guards. At this point, the other emojis rebel at this injustice and the crazy Smile threatens them. Just as the antivirus bot was about to delete father and son, High Five and Jailbreak show up. The hacker manages to release the button to deactivate the creature, but is knocked out before she can press it. The little hand then takes advantage of the fact that the robot is behind the girl and presses the red button to turn it off, causing Smile to end up buried under her loyal antivirus. This could be a happy ending if it were not for the fact that time has run out and Alex is already resetting his cell phone. Now, that entire universe will be erased and the emojis, as well as all the ones that live in the other apps, will be deleted forever. Addy shows up at the same store where Alex is and the emojis spot the boy complaining to a friend that he can't express his feelings for her. Upon hearing this, Gene has an idea. He believes that if he can help the boy share his feelings, he can give up resetting his phone. Jailbreak claims she can hack the phone and send a message. But time is running out, so Gene will only get one chance. Knowing that he is the only hope for his friends and family, he enters the cube with a great responsibility. The emoji must use its quirkiness to convey everything Alex feels for Addy in a single message. Jailbreak then triggers the scanner and Gene does his best work. Alex is surprised to see that unusual emoji and decides to send it to Addy, since the icon conveys everything he feels for the girl. When Addy sees the message, she smiles and goes to talk to Alex. They arrange to go to the fall dance together and the boy is overjoyed. All the data on his cell phone was about to disappear forever, but Alex gives up resetting it and manages to recover everything at the last second. In that instant, the entire universe that lived inside the smartphone rises from the ashes and Gene is cheered by his fellow emojis, for thanks to his quirks, everyone has been saved. After living a whole life trying to fit into that society, Gene finally accepts the fact that he is different and even gets a surprise party to celebrate with his new friends. From that day on, he becomes Alex's favorite emoji and earns his long dreamed of place in the cube. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.